Dude, don't wear that shirt. Why not? It's a good shirt. You're embarrassing me. How am I embarrassing you? By wearing that shirt. It's a shirt, good shirt. Dude. What what shirt? What what are you talking about? The one with me on it. Yeah, and it's embarrassing, dude. It's our merch. Aren't you proud of it? No, what I'm we proud of it. <clears throat> well, I feel like I should be wearing one of yours. No, no, it's fine. You yeah. Can, you can do it on another episode. No. I'll I'm gonna do it. If you want to. Oh. Hey? There it is. Like that? With the uh, Mike Tyson uh, yeah. tattoo. Y'all see that shit? Zoom in on that one, Luke. Look at my camera. Now look at Ryan's. And you guys can't even buy these anymore. Nope. You missed out. Sorry. The, we'll, we'll never release them ever again. I don't think so. Ah, uh, if, if Layton's like, ah, that's using alt design again. I'd be like, okay. Yeah, but I feel like the people who supported us at the time should be the ones proud to wear them. I think so, too. I don't think any fucking poser should be allowed to wear one anymore. No, they would be losers. What are they support? They didn't support us at the time. No, you didn't support us Maybe they, did, they just didn't have enough money for a t-shirt. Which, if you had enough money to buy a ticket for the Creator Clash, or, which a we get. or a streaming ticket, then you have enough to at least fork over for a t-shirt. Or if you, only, if you don't have enough for both, and you really want to support us, you would have got a ticket to, or you would have bought a t-shirt because... You know, with the money you give for the ticket, we only get an incredibly tiny fraction of that. The rest goes to charity. Yeah. But these shirts, 100% goes to us, baby. Well. Because we use our own private manufacturer. Yeah. So, I mean, we got to pay them, too. That's what I'm saying. It's like, you got to gotta spend money to make money. That's business, baby. Business 101, guys. You got to spend money to make money. Well, uh, welcome back to Super Mega Cast. Something's bothering me. What's bothering you? Close the door all the way when you. Oh, I did. I did. I didn't close the door all the way. My bad, dude. Do you want to fix that? Yeah, you get your ass up. That's right. Close that fucking door. Hey, Luke. Luke, can you uh have a black box over this until we reveal it? <laughs> So, uh, y'all might be noticing why, you know, my oh my, there's a big black box just right there. You could probably tell there's some glowing behind, maybe no glowing. Well, now you know, now they know there's glowing, so now they're like, Luke what? put all of this in black and white. <laughs> <laughs> Until the... Swing! Yeah. Check that out. Is that not cool? Well, this is for the vi video, for the pot, for the... Audio listeners, we just unveiled our neon sign. Every white guy's podcast has to have a neon sign. There's no, there's no way around it. No, no I mean, ifs, ands, or buts about it. So we got one made. Is it? Ooh, it's buzzing. Feel it? It's not hot. No, it's buzzing though. Is that the neon gas like flowing through? It's, it's definitely. Um, I may, may, I think it does need to be dimmed a little bit, but we have to get like a separate thing for that, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, any electrician heads out there, uh, you know what we're talking about. We gotta dim this, but dude, apparently I read that you can't just use a regular uh, dimmer thing, because you have to watch out for like the, the currents and the voltage or something, and you can set it on fire if you don't sounds do it right. Sounds complicated. So it sounds, I don't know shit about electricity, I just know it hurts. So, I thought that would be hot, it's not. Well, I mean, the sign's looking hot, though. Matt. Yeah. Odds are, you sign up to do stand-up somewhere in L.A., but all of your stand-up material has to be about Ikea. Come on. Why, that's Wouldn't you have a fun time doing I that? Thought, I thought you... <laughs> Anyone ever gotten lost in Ikea? <laughs> I mean, that place is ginormous. <laughs> You'd probably get drunk people laughing. Like, if you did, like, one of those stand-ups where everyone's just kind of, like, just <laughs> wasted. Okay. Well, I went to one of those on Friday night. And was there Saturday a single night. person who bombed? Every single person bombed. <laughs> really? No one was laughing. Well, and then, maybe they were just all really enjoying their food and eating and laughing. No, there was no him. food. Hmm. But I'll do it out of 20. Did someone say boo? No, no one said boo, but just there was no, no one laughed. laughs. There was not even like a like one person. Every now and then they'd be like, hmm. <laughs> you, it, didn't even, you didn't laugh? No, I, did, I tried. You tried to laugh? Well, I would fake a laugh sometimes because I felt bad for them. Mm. But I would, uh, 
that's the kind of benefactor I am, Ryan. Yeah. But basically, uh, set out of 20, right? 20. Three, two, one, four. Six. Thank God, dude. <sighs> I thought I, I, IKEA is okay because I feel like I can do a decent, maybe, I don't know, but. <laughs> But I, th- I, I thought I you were just like, something I like, just like constricting all of your like five like tight five to IKEA. Maybe you can just make it one long IKEA joke. Just do a stand up and it's just one joke. Honestly, I thought you were gonna say like I'd have to do stand up only about like electrician stuff, which would be worse because I don't know. I'd have to like read up on. And then if you did read up and you did present the jokes, I wouldn't get it because I'm not an electrician. But I swear to God, if there is an electrician in the audience, we could use some help. Yeah, not from you're you're not with the you're jokes. not going to be invited uh, to come fix the sign, but like if you can offer some words of advice, maybe in the comments. Yeah, yeah, and if you you know it's kind of goofy right here because they secured it. It has to be tilted down a little bit, but we don't have a drill right that's now, tape, huh? so it's just tape. So duck that's tape? that's why that's there. Scotch or duck? Duck gaffer's tape, actually. Whoa, okay. Mm-hmm. Talking is about that, film is that, production. Is that Tucker's gaffer's tape or is it our gaffer's? It's tape? Our gaffer's tape. Okay. Or it's Tucker's and he left it here. What? I, I saw Tucker yesterday because we were shooting something for the calendar. And I think it came out the, it, be, the best it could. Unbelievable. I don't want to give it away, but it's it's an homage to a very famous album cover. I screamed when I saw it today, dude. Tucker sent it to me and I could not believe how spot on you guys got that shit. It, it took a bit. I wonder which, like... If it, it would be funny because we did it so many times, like we had to <laughs> go underwater. It's the Nirvana fucking baby album cover. Yeah, <laughs> and so like we had to like go underwater, and Tucker didn't have goggles, so he just kind of had to like blind guess <laughs> shit. I heard it underwater. Just <laughs> you, would, you would think that like the most advanced, talented cameraman you know, if he's doing an underwater shoot. You know, he's bringing the, like, $2,000 underwater housing for the camera. Oh, yeah. But what about these cameras? Oh, also, apparently Jim couldn't find goggles at a Target. I find that. I, I think that he just didn't look. I think that he probably didn't even go to Target. I'm I'm, I'm thinking, well, he did, because he did get me the, the underwear that I can put on to make it kind of naked without being naked. Because there were people, we, we didn't go to, like, anyone's pad. We just kind of, like, scouted out a pool on Google Maps and went for it. So well, it was someone's pad. It was someone's backyard. You just didn't know who. It's not someone pad I knew. You know. Yeah, someone someone knows him. But uh, I actually can back Jim up on this. Maybe mm-hmm. if he went to the target that I'm thinking about, which was kind of near the shooting location, mm. it's one of the mini targets, like the tiny targets. Oh. So he th- probably went okay. there. So that's why he couldn't find okay. him. That makes. But sense. I have gone to those before in search of goggles. Uh. And they've just run out? They've just not been in where you think they would be. I had to ask somebody, and they're like, oh, they're over here. And I'm like, I never would have guessed they'd be in this section. So maybe I was too quick to judge Jim. Well, he might have looked in, like, the beach section and not seen them. Going, oh, well. But there's they're in the sports section. I just hope that he takes his aggression out on me as his boss and not as his friend. <sighs> I know, I know. He's been a little... I, I, I didn't know the goggles thing, but I could tell something was up with him. Yeah. Seen any movies lately? Um, no. Yeah, yes. Nice. I rewatched uh, one of my fam- fa- favorite uh, Paul Thomas Anderson movies, Magnolia. Okay. Love that movie. Last time I saw it was in theaters. I knew you came with me. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that, was, that, that was fun. It was a... Uh, Same with House. Uh, the last time I saw it was with you. Yeah. House is fucking amazing. I, I need to rewatch that now that it's getting closer to... Spooky time. Oh, yeah? Next month, baby. Halloween. People are already starting to celebrate it. And I feel like it's like celebrating Christmas in November. You just got to wait till after Thanksgiving. You got to wait You gotta wait till it's October 1st, and then, then the pumpkins can come out. The pumpkins can come out to play on well, September Well, the jack-o'-lanterns. 1st. The pumpkins can come out in September. It, it's fall. But, but the jack-o'-lanterns, keep those away till October 1st. Don't, don't go carving that shit. Don't no. go... Don't go setting those on your on your front front steps. Don't even carve it into like a a turkey. Even no. it's still a jack o' lantern, which well, the, is a Halloween theme. Turkey would make more sense after Halloween because Thanksgiving comes after Halloween. Yes. So to me, that's also a both of those don't work. I think that I have seen turkeys. Now I think I had to do it at school one time in elementary school. They got all the kids in like this courtyard area, and we just 
made jack o' lanterns. Sorry, I just remembered. No, it's okay. I don't man. want to talk about it any any further. Obviously, it, um, I had a similar thing happen to me at school with the uh, they got us together. Yeah, I, did, I just think we should probably move off the subject. Okay, um, Magnolia is a really good movie. Yes, if you guys like the Raining Frogs. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh mm. I forgot. I forgot that that happened. Well, I remember when I started the movie, but into the movie I forgot, and I had my TV in my room up like really loud, and then when the first one comes down, scared the shit out of me. Just, ooh, scary. Is it on whose car is it? Is it John, John C. C. Riley's character? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who's always in the darndest things? He is, man. He loses his gun. I know. Fucking idiot. Do they ever explain? They never explain why the frogs rain. They don't need to. Exactly, because the whole movie is about uh. Oh. Whoa. Justin, put that middle finger down, dude. Justin. Justin. No, no, don't do that. Don't do he's, that. Fortnite fli- L dance. He, he flicked us off. Well, he flicked. He's flicked Matt off, and he Stop. did the L dance at Matt. Stop. Oh, he's doing a now fake he's belly la- laugh. Now he's laughing Get. at us. Get. He's slapping his Get. goddamn knee. Are you doing the donkey laugh? Uh, Fuck. Uh, he's he's doing the Fortnite donkey laugh on us. Okay. Why? To Matt. Well, it is to you, Ryan, because I have a shirt with your face on it. Is that true, Justin? Because oh, he has because he has my too. face on his shirt. Are you actually doing it towards me? He's freaking out right now. Ooh. He just banged on the door, screamed, "Fuck!" and ran away. And Matt won, Justin zero. I he he had me in the first half of that. Yeah, I mean in the first in the first in the first half. It's a good meme, dude. You remember that one? Mm-hmm. Pepperidge Farms remembers. <laughs> That's nice. I just can't help it sometimes, man. I just I, I don't know where they come from. I'm sorry. Yeah, light that shit, man. Get that shit lit. It's not a for those listening. It's I'm not lighting up a joint. It's a cigarette. Yet. I could have probably asked Layton to just roll me a joint. I want to test it. Could you roll me a joint for the podcast? Yeah, you know, sure. What do you? Of course he's going to. How about, what if I ask Jim? <laughs> I don't think Jim, Jim knows how you, to roll up. <laughs> Jim, could you roll us? Could you roll us the best joint you possibly can? What if we ask Jim to roll us a joint, but instruct Layton that if Jim comes to him, and say, "Hey, can you do this?" He has to say, "Like, I'm really busy right now. I can't." I feel like if Jim—that's that's adding too many branches to this tree. Hey, the, and that ain't the tree I want to be smoking on. <laughs> Roll me a blunt so I forget it. Denzel Curry. Watch this. Whoa, dude. I, yep. If you show that to a caveman, he loses shit. You know? They'd probably look at you now and be confused with how you got the image of someone on your shirt. <laughs> They'd be terrified. <laughs> They'd be like, like you trapped ah! someone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they, they think that I took someone's like soul and I, banished, <laughs> I trapped them in my shirt as like a, as like a punishment. <laughs> this is their prison. <laughs> And like then they'd be scared there's, of me. There's two of them. They'd be scared of me because they think that if 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 they're not good to me, that I'm gonna do the same to them. It's like your pants are like looking up at the stars, because <laughs> like they just uh, like the pattern is just like whoa, like trippy to them. What if uh, they start hyperventilating? They would, dude. And they, but Does that they, mean they would attack and kill you yes, because they probably. see you as a threat, or do you think they'd bow to you and see you as a god? I guess it depends on how advanced they are. True. If we're talking like uh, if we're talking like 2001: A Space Odyssey monkeys, okay, they kill me. Yeah, because they're smart, but I don't think they're smart enough to grasp the concept of like. Well, they deity. just see you as you're not us. Get the fuck out. And also, if they saw me, they, imagine you know it's like 700,000 years ago, and and those monkeys are out there in the in the desert, and then I just walk up wearing exactly what I'm wearing now. Like, hey guys. They would attack the living shit out of me because they would be terrified. I would too if I were them. Yeah, you know. I I have I have a, I have a, I have a question. Oh God, animals. Yeah, what about them? Don't bring up the. No, no, no. Thank you. Think of a bird flying through a city, right? We've like they even BBC has like a oh nature and then the, they have one about cities yeah. as a, as an ecosystem. Yeah. Do you think like or which animals? if they do have the ability to tell like what is quote unquote like man made and what is natural or do you think they just see everything as like a perch like a building is just a cliff like it's a mountain i don't think they they can tell the difference because they don't have any they don't have anything to base like a comparison on it's not like they like knew what stuff looked like before there but was but do they see stuff. it as other or is it just like this is just another kind of dangerous like 
I, I could get eaten here. I could get fucking killed here. I think they just see this it as life. the environment they're in. Yeah. I and mean, they just act accordingly. You know, they determine if there's a threat or if there's not. What about animals, let's say, a, a tiger in the jungle? No, let's not. Let's just say a, just any animal just out in the jungle. All of a sudden comes across a, a city with cars and lights. Does it distinct it? Like, it sees I it as different, but does it... Is it just like, this is just some fucking crazy trees. What the fuck is going on? It would on? scare the shit out of it. It wouldn't even... It wouldn't even well, I don't even... They, they don't even think like that. They so don't, they yeah, they don't even think about... it When they're in the forest, they're not like, oh, that's a tree, that's a tree. It's just a thing, you know? Yeah. Because they don't even know what a tree is. They it's go, just a thing. I can climb that. And then they're like, oh, they these are They things. have judgment, though. They can tell if they, like, if they, if they like, a, a, a branch can hold them or not, yeah. I'm sure. Right. They go, but, they eye it out. Maybe some of them fucking fail. But they only know what it is based on their memories and, and past experiences with said object, right? So it's like yeah. they know what a tree is and what will hold because they've, from the time they're a baby, they've done that. But if they if it stumbles upon a city and cars, that's just a whole bunch of new shit. And it probably doesn't compare it to anything that it already knows. It's just, ah! But, it, but they definitely have a, a feeling of territory in one place, like home or whatever. Like yeah. If you think of like, a, I guess, a domesticated dog. Like, probably knows the difference between home and then outside not being home. Like, yeah. I'm sure they would probably feel lost. Oh, a, a tiger would be terrified. What we should do is we should take a tiger that's grown up in the jungle, release it into an urban area, and see if... if take a if film it, crew. See if what what happens, how it reacts. See if it's scared or if it actually just says, oh, okay, this is a tree. This we can make a really good movie off of that. We're using the real-life situation that we create and filming people's real reactions, but having our own narrative. But Ooh. the narrative is being created as we see it. See, even even fucking college film students couldn't come up with that genius shit. Nope. No one's ever done that. And if we did do that, Ryan, and a lot of people died and were mauled and we released that movie, sure, we'd go to jail. But would that not be one of the most legendary snuff films ever to exist? If not the most legendary snuff film to ever exist? I think it would be pretty cool, honestly. We'd go down in the history books and the slammer, but we would be very famous. Be like, the story of two YouTubers turned Psycho turnt getting turned up turnt psycho and then at the end we uh, We catch the tiger and we cook it alive and oh. we eat it. Yes, Be if we can catch it What if we're the last because, two but like the way the story because we don't we can't write it ahead of time It's a fucking tiger. Oh, yeah, you're right. It could kill one of us and that would that would make the story fucking dramatic a lot of people might cry and so, go I know someone that died. I know that pain you would, uh... Or like when people watch a romance movie, they go, someone's hurt my feelings before, and I miss them right now in a weird way, even though I hate them. Yeah, because you take, you take what you see, the emotions you're that, seeing, and you relate them to your own. That might just be the way I feel about... Not you. No, mom. I know my, yeah. my mom. Well, I think she feels the same way. But we just know that's not going to work. It's a communication issue, I think, at the end of the day. I think it's a little more than that. I was chalk it up to communication. Yeah, I think it's a little more than that, though. I don't think I don't think you guys. You can think a lot of things, but okay. Well, I do, but we'll leave that where it is. Won't even touch that one again. Yep. Um. I just. Just uh, let's go to uh, yeah, let's go to break. ad breaks. Don't bring that shit up. My, my mom, it's my podcast too. I know, but my mom does not like it when you bring her up on the podcast anymore. Who cares? I thought you respected her. I respect her in the bedroom with my pelvis and these calves of mine. What's that even mean? I use those muscles when I'm having sex, when I'm making love to, to her. Good, good, good catch. Smooth Sack Summer is slowly coming to an end, fellas. If you haven't been scaping for the summer sun, it's not too late to sweep your sack for those pesky pubes. As summer comes to an end and we enter fall, keep your boys clean and fresh just in time for fresh ball fall. The leader in below-the-waist grooming is here to make sure your pubes feel smoother than a beach ball and smell fresher than your girl's pumpkin spice. Start the new season the right way and join over 6 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer for you. 20% off and free worldwide shipping with code SUPERMEGA at manscaped.com. The Manscaped Performance Package 4.0 has everything you need to keep your sweet nut sack in check. Inside this package, you'll find their Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Trimmer, 
Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, Crop Reviver Toner, Performance Boxer Briefs, and a travel bag to hold your goodies. You know, I gotta say, I use Manscaped and I trust them 100%. I've been using them forever. And I just, I just, I, you know, I pull out, it's, it's easy. You pull out the Manscaped razor, it comes with a little, at least the electronic one, it comes out uh, with a flashlight so you can see in those dark crevices, especially if you have darker hair like me. And then you'll get to see your pale skin shine when all of that fur is removed. It's, it's beautiful. Get 20% off plus free shipping with code SUPERMEGA at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with code SUPERMEGA at manscaped.com. Keep things smooth and fresh as we say sayonara to smooth ball summer and enter fresh ball fall. Yippee! Welcome back from the ads. How's the Sprite? It's good. It's good Sprite. Is it it's is lukewarm? It, was it in? Oh, it wasn't in the fridge. And I'm not talking about the way that our editor Luke is warm. He not, seems like a very warm, very person. warm guy. In fact, every single time I FaceTime Luke or he FaceTimes me with a question about editing the podcast, he's sitting in his room, shirt off. You've seen it. Yeah. He always has, has his shirt off and he looks like he's drenched in sweat. <laughs> Luke, do you have AC in, in your house? Maybe he's just getting busy. Yeah, he's so busy editing. Well, that. Or he might have a horrible cocaine habit. I was we don't know about. about He might be pulling. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, yeah, I think he's pulling. Some babes. Some babes. Some uh, rock hard babes. That's what happens when you're the editor of the Super Mega Cast. You can you can slay pussy. Yep. Queen. Your name's up in lights now. Mm-hmm. You go out, people recognize you. You're you're the editor of the Super Mega Cast, aren't you? Are you Luke Ketty? That's yeah. that's I love I love your work on the Super Mega Cast. Owner of Famous Billy? Your edits get me through the day. Luke can, can, we, can we, everyone, can everyone say thank you to Luke? He does a great job editing the podcast. Thank you, Luke. Thank you, Luke. I hope you're all saying it at home, too. Yeah. Luke, give yourself a pat on the back. And show that pat on the back. To have your shirt for on? The, for the, yeah. <laughs> I, I'd put a shirt on, buddy. Yeah, put a shirt on. We don't. Because last time uh, you tried to show off, you then backtracked and made us censor your nipple. Ridiculous. Yeah, that's right. That's right. But... You know, so I don't want to. I don't want to have to I don't, be censored again. I don't. I don't. Is Luke just another member of the liberal media? I mean, he lives censoring in California. And, censoring and oppressing. He lives in California. You know where he's from, right? Kentucky. No, close. Texas. Iowa. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like oh, hey, Kentucky, close. Texas. <laughs> <laughs> no, Iowa. It's right next to Kentucky. Right. right. Is sure. Iowa next to Kentucky? Let's. I don't let's know. say it is. He's from he's from Des Moines. Is that how you say it? Des what, Moines. What do I care what what's located where? Like I know where my home is. I know where my heart is. I know uh, where our work our place of work is. Luke's not actually from Iowa. I'm just bullshitting. Why? Because I because I know that when I said that he goes, oh, I'm not from Iowa. Oh. But but now you, but now you already said it. So he's not gonna he's gonna oh Matt. Yeah, but I got him Crank for a it. second. Oh, true, true, true. He's I, I, but that time I asked him to send me an emoji, he sent me an emoji. It was really sweet. So, he's... Where is Luke from? I should know this. Oh. California. Yeah? Yeah. Born and raised. Born and raised where Smosh uh, started. Really? Sacramento. He's a Sacramento boy. Okay. God's favorite city, my favorite city of all time. It's it's hard because like I I automatically just kind of assume people came from somewhere else when I meet them in California. Yeah, I, I think well, I know more people from other places that live in California than people who originated in California. It's it, California's just so big because if you think about it, technically Sacramento is so far away. If you think about it, it's so tall. It is. So like someone saying they're from Vegas. That's like out of state, but that's still hours closer than Sacramento is. So, yeah, Luke, uh, I doxed you. Ooh. Got a problem with it? Take Did it you? up with me. Well, you can't right now. Exactly. We're recording the podcast, and he has to be a little respectful of our If Luke our doesn't time. take it up with me in the next five minutes, he's officially a pussy. He's officially branded as a pussy, so. I said five minutes, but five seconds works, too. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, man. I can't believe he grew up the same place Ian and Anthony grew up. Oh, that Sprite's making me a little burpy. Excuse me. 15. 
60. <laughs> like, I just keep Dude, going. <laughs> you, I, I'd, I'd really respect you if you counted five whole minutes out on your fingers. I think people, get, people sometimes get really upset over bits we do. Well, the masturbation should... bit in It's when bits Resident go on too Evil. long, which we rarely Evil, right? do. It was Resident Evil. Yeah. There was the uh, drum solo. <laughs> Still probably my favorite podcast bit we ever did. <laughs> when... What else have we done? What else have we done to y'all? You know? How have we pranked you? How have we traumatized you guys? Yeah. I'm sure a lot of people get upset when they see the that thing of me punching banana every now and then. That still it crops up and people are like, did he actually hit the cat? I saw it uh, that's fucked up. on Reddit the other day by, at the top of a subreddit. I don't remember what subreddit, but it was there again. They, they always make fun of my hair. They always call it, I'm wearing my Simpsons shirt. They go, this, I hope he didn't really hit, hit the cat. Also, this guy's hair sucks. They and I say don't. That? Yeah, and I don't understand it. Why do they say every, that? Every comments it like look, that. It looks fine. I, I think so. It looks good. But every a lot of the comments are they say something about the cat and then they go, "This man's hair looks greasy." Plus, does you're, this man even brush his hair? You're intoxicated, dude. You gotta look drunk. I know. They are they expecting you to be clean? Well, they don't know it's from drunk drawing, but yeah, I'm wearing my Simpsons shirt. Yeah, that's what they always c- clip it as. It's so. Like what are you what are you doing, you little shit? I told you not to come in here. And then you punch the oh. shit out of him. I thought it was gonna strangle Bart or something. No, 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 no. Oh. no I'm talking about the video. The the classic what viral videos do we have? We have that. We have the uh touching electrical wires challenge. Yep. Which I love every time that gets posted. Blonde somewhere. boys in general. Yeah. I don't know if that's viral I get, uh, I think it is. I don't know if any of us if like if anything we've done, I would say is viral. I would say it gets picked up a little bit by a, by a different community. Well, I guess when I say viral, I mean like what clips of ours leave the super mega community and spread around. The banana punching one. Mm-hmm. The electrical wires one. Remember the one where like I put banana- You punching, in? or me, you punching me in Japan? Oh, when I slapped you? Yeah. Yeah. Remember the uh, one where I'm putting- Back at our old apartment, when I'm putting banana in the bag, you slam him against the wall. The rapper Ugly God posted that on his on his Instagram once, and Is I could he not. Ugly? No, uh, no. Oh. Okay. He posted it on his uh, meme page that he ran, and I was like, "No does way!" Does he not run it anymore? No, he still does. Okay. Uh, he still post about us. No. I know it's not like about us, but it was it was us. It was. It was just literally the clip of "Come on, banana." You should hit him up. You should ask. Him. I don't know. You should, ask, God. you should ask. You should hit him I know. in the DMs and ask him to post. Like you should send him a super mega clip. <laughs> but hey, man, would you mind posting this? <laughs> See, odds are we should. I want to get a odds are, oh, dude. Come on, <laughs> that's so embarrassing. <laughs> Do I get to at least pick the clip? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I just send it to him or do I have to ask? You have to ask too. <laughs> All right. Uh, 25. 3, 2, 1, 13. Oh, God, man, dude. I should have gone with the meme. I can't look at you when I do it because when I look at you, we click on the same brain, <laughs> brain wave and then when we both say the same number, we do it a lot out of 100 and it still happens. There's got to be. You still haven't masturbated to Big Mama's house too, by the way, which how how many years has it been? Like two, three? At least three. Three. Two or three. Damn. Yeah. Shit. That's not good. Do I still have to master? I don't have to masturbate to Chris Chan's unclit, right? No. We just Big Mama's house too. The the sauna scene. And what about the bung wa the mop water bung rip? No. I still do it, man. That's not good for your health. I don't want you to inhale garbage into your lungs. Unless it's marijuana or ooh thanks for reminding me <sighs> i was looking back at old podcast episodes last night hold on let me let me pull this up you just hear us hitting vapes or something no even better super mega cast episode 128 we quit smoking <laughs> yeah well i mean i haven't smoked cigarettes for a bit about four months almost I didn't keep track of the actual date because a part of me was like, I don't want it to be a thing where I'm keeping track of how long because right. then I'll be more upset if I fail. That Yeah, that's that's a good way to do it. But I haven't had the urge to smoke a cigarette. Well, I have nicotine fixes from this. Well, yeah, I mean, if, you, if you're replacing it with something healthier. That's right, and uh, we're going to start today off. 
by saying, stop smoking. Don't smoke. Throw out those cigarettes and jewels, folks. Because now, Super Mega is officially cigarette and jewel free. We are smoke free, baby. Smoke free. We did this it. We quit. This is a smoke free That was just a bit. Now. We, to- we were just messing. I think a part of our reasoning at the time was that if we say it, then it's going to help us commit to it. Yeah. And it did nothing. Well, I remember at that time we had actually, we were like, all right, we're quitting. We're quitting. We're done. We stopped for a bit. We did. But Maybe. also, we didn't say we didn't say that we quit vaping. We said we quit jeweling, which is what I was doing at the time. I don't jewel anymore. It's different. I don't jewel either. I just uh, top shine. We never said we're not top shining. Nope. Because when I get a little top, I am shining. You are. I'm still happy and I feel accomplished at the fact that we were able to have Hassan on the podcast and do poppers with us. Just to pop off. I saw so many comments that were like, no fucking way. <laughs> they actually got Hassan to do poppers with them. I don't. I can't believe he didn't know what they were. I love how down for it he was. Well, I mean, ex- especially since he does frequent... Uh, that type of club, but like, I know that was supposed to be private, but I'm the pictures are out there. Uh, well, let's not bring attention to it. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> look at the funny monkey. <sighs> yeah, pass him over here. You want the funny monkey? Yeah, yeah, but I, I, Matt had a monkey on his lap. No, you know what? You know what it was? You know what? You know why he he didn't know what they were? Was be, he pretended to not know what they were oh, because. Yeah? It, that fits his narrative better of like, that's not me in those pictures at those nightclubs. Oh, true. Okay. That makes sense. You've seen the ones in the limousine, right? I only saw the one in the, like in the clubs. I didn't know that there were more. <laughs> the limousine. <laughs> okay. The back of a limousine. Is that like a party bus? I thought he usually did party bus shit. <laughs> <laughs> just really make it about that. I really can't. <laughs> I can't fucking do it with a straight face. I didn't even know that was a puppet, dude. I thought that was just a doll. You didn't know? No, I didn't know that was a puppet. He's just sitting down, you know. He's, he's, he... His hands just kind of, maybe if I put, like, I don't know. I wish uh, his head was taller, so these were more Here. not, like, always at his face. What if I, like, pull it back? Does that look good? Zoom in, Luke. Zoom into this. Hey, audio listeners, fuck you. Fucking bitches. You don't get to enjoy the pure fucking art that we accomplish. Okay, zoom out, Luke. I'm done. Yeah, you didn't catch him. You were supposed to to catch him. I didn't know you were throwing it. Well, I thought it was, I thought sometimes we're on the same page, and I guess we just weren't that time. Oh, did you know that the mouth opens too? Have we, did we just, have we lost our mojo? Did you know the mouth opens? Albeit poorly, but. Just slightly. I bet Luke should put a monkey screech here. See, that's going to be great. That That's what this podcast was made for. I really want to do a video with a monkey so bad. We could, if we wanted to, if we truly wanted to. Anybody we in the Los Angeles area have any connects for monkeys? I mean, we could just buy one and then set it free afterwards. It's like, <laughs> like that's that's like humanitarian, right? <laughs> set them be back free. free. <laughs> set them back off into like the Like downtown Los Angeles. <laughs> be with your brothers and sisters. I, I would love to see what happened if... It, that wasn't about homeless people. I, I didn't assume I just that. I just feel like people people create problems where there are none, and it might have been taken in the wrong context. It was about my aloofness of releasing a monkey into a city. If we, <clears throat> if we had the monkey and then just released it into, like, the suburbs of Burbank... Okay. ...and we drive off, how long do you think it would take before we hear about it? Do you think it's going to die? People are going to call the people are going to call the police very quickly. People are be like, "What the fuck, dude?" If if I'm like in Burbank mowing my lawn and I look and there's just in the side of my yard a fucking chimp <laughs> staring at me, yeah, I would run inside and call the police. <laughs> well, I mean, you could just dap him up, maybe. You think he'd climb a tree? <laughs> you think the chimp would climb a tree? Wait, this happened in Florida, I think. Like, uh. A monkey, maybe it was two of them. A lot of monkeys escaped from zoos. They escaped to like a sanctuary. I think there was like, there's a, there's an orangutan at uh, the San Diego Zoo that was like famous for breaking out like during the nighttime. I think it was in San Diego, the San Diego Zoo. Some orangutan broke out and like 
Wouldn't it was he, awesome. Wouldn't he break out, do something, and then go back? Would he let his... the other animals free, or would he like go like steal some food, I, some I snacks, don't... or just go roam around the park and then get back in? I feel like he always you, got back. You know in. what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. There's there's something in your brain that's going, yeah, there's something about it's this. going, yeah. I uh, honestly, dude, like, do you think we'd hear about it on Twitter first? I'd be sitting here on Twitter Probably. refreshing just the term like chimp in with with, with LA. Would like, they send out an alert, an emergency. I wonder if they would actually. Would they be very descript or would they just be like, uh, well, they would have to be. They couldn't just say like animal loose. I, I think dangerous animal. They dangerous might send out wildlife. They might send warning. out like a like text, like with a alerts on you get on iPhones that are like chimp on the loose. <laughs> just panic. <laughs> There's a fucking chimp. <laughs> just uh, they, they'd probably say like dangerous animal in proximity. Seek shelter immediately. Why wouldn't they just say monkey or sorry, ape? Because a chimp's an ape, not a monkey. That's right? correct. Yeah. Yes. That is correct. Little fun Planet fact. of the apes. Not the monkey. Yeah, and you're like, why are there... Why It's all about chimps mainly, but why is it Planet of the Apes? Well, because it is like orangutans and gorillas. Apes a family. I don't know if there... I don't know if there are any monkeys in those movies. No, it's funny because monkeys are completely separate from... from. What's the biggest monkey? Gorilla. Oh, monkey. That's an ape. Yeah. Uh, let me let me look it up. Okay. Siri, what's the biggest monkey? I just want to know. Mandrels. I want Okay. Those are scary. They're like baboons. They're the ones with the like kind of diamond shaped heads. Yeah, they look like baboons. I don't know why not. I say they're just tall heads and they have like colored mm -hmm. faces. Uh, I don't know if theirs are colored. Wait, what well, is a baboon a monkey? Isn't? No, wait. Bat Hold up. Or is Mandrill the one things from Tarzan? I think that's a baboon. Oh, these things. Yeah, they have like these. Look at this. Look at that diamond shaped head of his. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. It is like a bit. It is like a, a baboon. Interesting. They Yeah, they're horrifying. Yeah, that looks like the type. Dude, oh my God. Just, just this. Luke, can you see that? That is fucking terrifying. Oh, dude. They're, what a cool looking primate, though. See, dude, here's the thing. Why did, like, you know, we all have, like, common ancestors. Why did they get to keep that kind of cool shit? And we Like, didn't? we don't have, like, colored, like, skin around, or, like, colored little, like, red or blue noses they have, and cheeks. It looks like they have face paint on, dude. Like, why did they get all that cool shit and the crazy fangs and the... He has a beard. Well, we're from apes. We're not monkeys. I mean, well, tell me this, Ryan. If man comes from monkey, why is there still monkey? I'm glad you asked, Tim Allen. Tim Ellen. Tim Ellen. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Has Tim Allen been on Ellen? You think? Of course. Okay, I'm gonna look it up. And, and if, if I'm you're wrong, wrong, I get to punch you. Okay. Where? Uh, your arm. Okay. And balls? Not balls. Okay. Balls. I guarantee Tim Allen's been on Ellen, dude. Tim Allen. Ellen. I'm looking it up too, dude. Just in case you don't do to your pro. Same house in that area anymore? In no, I, I, I went to uh, my wife and I looked for a new house. We went Shut the fuck house. up! God damn. It. Yep. Oh, he's been on many times. Yeah, multiple times. Who hasn't been on Ellen? Us. Don't talk about new celebrities. Like what big was Mel Gibson? No, I mean Mel Brooks. No, Mel Gibson. Mel I feel like Mel Gibson might have. No, I don't know. I'm okay. trying think about controversial celebrities. Let's see if Mel Gibson was ever on Ellen. Mel Gibson pranks Julia Roberts. He he was on Jimmy Kimmel in 2017. Interesting. He was on Letterman. He was on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Oh. Because remember when she had a remember when she had a like a sitcom? A lot of people don't know that. She had like She a started out with the sitcom and then it got a lot of heat because didn't she come out in the sitcom? Oh, I'm sorry. The Ellen DeGeneres show is not the sitcom. It's her actual talk show and Mel Gibson was on it. Season 2 episode 124. Yeah. Uh, Mel Gibson, the passion recut, talks about buying an entire island for himself in Fiji, then test audience members on their Mel IQ. Well, I can't find it on YouTube. So, someone has to post it soon. What a stuck-up Robin Williams defends Mel Gibson? No. First of all, I want to 
to thank Mel. Yeah. Uh, uh, he was arrested and uh, certainly took a certain amount of focus. But uh, for me, it was a, a moment of... What do you mean? Just like uh, there but for the grace of God, you know. You out of control like that? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. And that's, uh, you, you stop because, uh, you know, when you start violating your standards uh, quicker than you can lower them, <laughs> then it's time to go away. That's sad. Well, I mean, there's a difference between, like, raising your voice in an argument and threatening your ex-wife and hoping that she gets arred by a bunch of... A pack of... A pack it, of... His words, not mine. A pack of... You guys can fill in the blank word there. Yeah. Uh, but basically... Mel Gibson, man. And that wasn't recent. Why does he have... Does he have an accent? Robin Williams? Yeah. He put on like a funny little Australian accent. Oh, okay. I was like, hey, have I, I not known this whole time? What are, like, there's a lot of actors that I never realized had an accent for the longest time. Like the guy from uh, The Walking Dead. Andrew Lincoln? Yeah. He's British. He's British. So is, uh, did you ever, you watch The Walking Dead, like the first season? I watched the first You know season. Morgan in the, like the first episode, like Rick wakes oh, up. It's been so long. He goes to a house. There's like a father and son. Yeah. That helps him out a little bit. And then Rick goes on his way on a horse. Right. Uh, Morgan is also a British. The guy who plays Morgan is a British actor as well. Well, I hadn't seen Love Actually until after I watched The Walking Dead. And Andrew so Lincoln's in it. Yeah, holding up the cards to Kira Knightley. You know what, dude? I'll be honest. I really do enjoy that movie. It's cheesy. I've never seen it. It's so cheesy and sappy, but it's like a comfort movie every Christmas for me. I saw New Year's or New Year's Eve. You know those movies where they just got a bunch of like big actors and they gave them all like an A plot, B plot, C plot? And then eventually in the end it would culminate to like everyone being at like the New Year's Eve or the Valentine's Day. It was like movies based on holidays. Movies based on holidays that aren't Christmas or Halloween are, I feel, destined to fail. Because like if, they're, are, uh, if they're holidays that people don't get excited about yeah. as much. And also you can only – the thing about holiday movies is like Christmas movies have – you know, you can watch a Christmas movie like early November if you wanted. But – but you're not going to watch a Valentine's Day movie in late December, you know? Well, you could probably watch a Valentine's Day movie any day. Of the, well, like, this movie was literally probably, I think it was called Valentine's yeah, Day. or like an Easter movie. Yeah. You know? Like The Passion of the Christ. Great movie. You can only watch that for... Directed by Mel Gibson. The one and only. Mm -hmm. Wasn't in English. Was it not? No, I think it was subtitled. Like, was it in Hebrew? I saw this guy on YouTube that he does like linguistic stuff and he did a video of what uh, Jesus actually sounded like because he got the language that Jesus actually spoke and the accent and everything and he did like in a like a speech example of what he sounded like. It just sounded like Arabic. Yeah, that gobbledygook. It sounded like it. <laughs> it's actually really interesting. I don't understand it, so it's bullshit to me. How is that a fucking language? Tell me what, a bunch of squ squiggles and, and, and dots and... And then just the, you know what I'm saying? If I can't look at it and conceptualize what these shapes are trying to tell me, it's a fucking sticks and stones language, God damn it! <laughs> Arabic was around so much longer than yeah English. So I guess technically sticks English and stones. English is actually a relatively new language, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Because it's a mishmash of a lot of other languages. It's a Germanic language. Yeah, it used to just sound whole, like. You, well, could, you, you couldn't understand it. No. Like old English. I listened to an example of old English and I could not understand what the fuck. Because it wasn't even the same like structure how they talked. Like it's the accent was completely different, but also like the way they just structured sentences was just different. It'd be cool to learn something like old English, but also it's like, why? You know? Because uh, maybe you're taking a new part in a theater play and you want to seem really fucking awesome. Or you're taking a part in a Robert... Eager Edger's movie called The Lighthouse and he wants you to get the dialect down of this time period. Or you're the, in I'm, another I'm, old movie English of his not, called The Witch. Old English is like old, old English. Yeah, but that's still like... I'm talking about like... I know I know what you're talking about, but I, even, I still even think that like going back not too long ago, like... Yeah. You sound pretty different. Yeah. Well, you know what's funny is, like, people always look at, like, the 1600s, and they look at, like, Shakespeare, and they think that's how people talk. That's not how people talked. 
they talked like pretty normally. That's just how. Oh dear. That's how things were written. Dun, 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 dun. I think it was just a different art form where it's like, I you know that sound that. Dun, 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 <laughs> yeah, that's used dun, in like dun, so dun, many dun, trailers. Dun, or it was, dun, 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 I think dun, it had dun, to have been dun, used dun, in dun, one of the fake trailers in Tropic Thunder, like the Jack Black movie, <laughs> dun, The dun, Farts dun, dun, or whatever dun, the fuck dun, that they're called. Because he did like an Eddie Murphy. I love kind of that one. <laughs> Where they're all just farting. Oh, somebody passed the beans. That shit, they got it spot on. Dun, 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 Well, I don't know who's no, calling No me. one's calling me. It's just, uh, oh, Ben Beal tweeted. Was he good? Well, well see, he had a viral tweet the other day that had 50, got 53,000 likes, and he said, 53K likes, yet no bitches. Was it, was it cap? It was capping. Okay. It was, it was, it was, it was on God. It's pretty funny, actually. He said, last night was, was an a audio fucking book. audio yeah. book, bro. Made me laugh, man. Get this fucking thing off my chair. What was it? Was it a little so speck like, of dust A little or fuzzy. God, my pants keep riding up because these are tight, and then you're going to be able to see my fucking tiny ass moose knuckle. No, it's fine. You're good. No, it's... <sighs> My balls can't show because my me undies strapped to. I always wear me undies, so my balls are not showing. Stop photoshopping. Like Ryan's balls would not even be able to be shown. Like even because if was, he wears me undies, and even those if are it, tight. look at that, look at that. Even if it was open around here, these don't open up unless I do this. Luke, make sure you know. Make sure no testicular no shots was were poking out. Trust me. You'll feel a ball when it's out. It's like a. It's like, like a I know where my balls are. You can like. Just, like, just feel them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but but also, like, it looks real, but it's, like, it's like in the pictures, your ball would have to be, like, hanging over here somehow. Yeah. It would be more plausible for that to have been your penis than, yes, you know? and Because that's, like, a long sack to go all the way, like, well, I don't know, if my shorts go right is there. there. A, is there a side that you're, like, a, like a side that your dick naturally rests at? Because I think uh, mine's it, almost always on the right. I'm sure there's there is, but I just kind of shift around. I'm sure it shifts around throughout the day. I'm almost certain it's. I can't think of it on the left. I feel like it going on the right might feel weird. I feel like mine going on the left feels more natural for me. What does that say about us? That we're meant to do podcasts together. Yeah, because see, now we're talking about it. Yep. And if we both went to the right, we'd have nothing to talk about. Well, we do have certain things to talk about right now, but not. Their ad reads. Yeah. So, yeah. Just enjoy. We'll be back. Yes, we will. Guys, if you want ultra easy skincare that's actually made for your skin, Curology is the way to go. You'll get a custom prescription cream made for you by a dermatology provider for your specific goals. Whether that's tackling acne, clogged pores, skin texture, dark spots, fine lines, or something else. You start by taking a short online quiz, and if it's a good fit, They'll ship you your formula right to your door. And that's just what I did, ladies and gentlemen. I went online, took their quiz, and they produced a, a skin-specific, or a Ryan-specific formula. It mainly helps with my acne and clogged pores. I love it. Get started with Curology just like I did with a free 30-day trial at Curology.com super. Just pay $5 for shipping and handling. That's C U R O L O G Y dot com slash super to start your free 30 day trial. Cancel any time. Prescription subject to consultation. And now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. Something that I've struggled with in my life is getting stuck focusing on problems instead of solutions. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have had that problem too. So, how about instead of getting stuck on the problem of focusing on problems instead of solutions? You do something like Seek Out Therapy, which is incredible for your mental health. And all of my friends do it. I do it. It's fantastic. And what better way to do it than with BetterHelp? It can be tough to train your brain to stay in problem-solving mode when faced with a challenge in life. But when you learn how to find your own solutions, there's no better feeling. A therapist can help you become a better problem solver, making it easier to accomplish your goals, no matter how big or small. I struggle with a lot of uh, anxiety and uh, depression and intrusive thoughts and stuff. So that inspired me to try therapy uh, years ago. And it was one of the best things I ever did because it basically just gave me the tools to learn how to handle the anxiety and depression and stuff on my own uh, and, and 
you know, help kind of change my thinking processes to address that stuff better. And it is so worth it. It makes me feel so much better every single time. And I'm less stressed. I feel more like myself. I'm more confident. And you can do the same thing. And that's why BetterHelp is here to give you uh, that tool right from the comfort of your own home. You can do video calls, you can do phone calls, and you can get matched with a therapist in under 24 hours just for your specific needs. Fully confidential, fully private, and fully affordable. So, if you're thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, accessible, affordable, and entirely online. Get matched with a therapist after filling out a brief survey and switch therapists anytime if you need to. When you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit BetterHelp.com slash SuperMega to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp.com slash SuperMega. Cannot recommend therapy enough. It's fantastic, especially in this day and age. We got so much stress on our minds. Uh, I go to therapy every single week, and it is fantastic. I cannot I cannot promote that enough. So try it out with BetterHelp. BetterHelp.com slash SuperMega. Mint Mobile offers premium wireless starting at just 15 bucks a month. And now for the plot twist. Well, there isn't one. Seriously, Mint Mobile just has premium wireless for 15 bucks a month. There's no trapping you into a two-year contract or opening the bill to find all these crazy fees. There's no luring you in with free subscriptions to streaming ser- Oh my god. There's n- there's no luring you in with free subscriptions to streaming services that you'll forget to cancel and be charged full price for. No. There's none of that. That, that's probably honestly my favorite thing about uh, Mint Mobile is when I use it, it's it's only 15 bucks a month. That's a cheap, cheap bill. You know what I'm saying? I'm starting to sound like a bird, but it's true. It's cheap as heck. I just switched over. Nice. Really? I did. Oh, did you? Yeah. How is it? It's great. Is the service? It's fantastic. Yeah. I was on another big provider and uh, I was paying over a hundred bucks a month and I said, you know what? Forget this. And uh I, I was on the same phone plan for, for years, and I just decided enough, and I switched over to Mint Mobile, and it's fantastic. And that could be you, audience. All plans come with unlimited talk and text, plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month. Get premium wireless for just 15 bucks a month and no expected plot twists at mintmobile.com slash supermega. That's mintmobile.com slash Super mega. Seriously, you'll make your wallet very happy at mintmobile.com slash super mega. Oh, man. All right. Uh, yeah, welcome back. Ladies, hope you like those those ad reads. Yeah, just doing a couple fun little ad reads. You know, a couple ad reads never hurt anybody. You know, we're goofy like that. You know? You know, we like to goof off and read Did some Did we ads. bump into my camera at some point during the cast? Did I? No, we, not you. It's or possible, yeah, because you're off center now. Yeah. Wasn't like that you earlier. You can't see the guh in the mega. Shit. Come you on. only see the soup. Fucking hell. What are we doing? What are I we got doing? You, bro. Okay, be careful. Yeah. That looks that looks fine. I think it looks decent. I Luke, think it's fine. If it was for some reason like that the whole time. Well, it's Layton's fault because he's such a Exactly. It but if it was, fault. then just crop in on Ryan's uh, camera so it's more centered, I guess. I don't know. Or don't because Matt's wasn't. Remember that episode where you were in the bottom corner of the... Because the camera was up too high? Yeah. I mean, the only way Luke could have fixed that was like <laughs> just making your whole head the fucking thing. You should, which he should have done. Yeah. I'm disappointed he didn't. People would be able to probably read your lips easier too for those who are hard of hearing. Hard of hearing? Mm-hmm. I get hard when I'm hearing some sex. Ooh. Yeah. Not when you're having the sex, though. No. I, I <laughs> Just like, uh, through the walls sometimes. My next-door neighbors share a wall. My bedroom has, is the wall that is shared to their place. So is their marriage a fruitful marriage, you would say, in the bedroom? Well, I think that their kid's room is on the other side of mine. But... <laughs> Do you just hear like a lot of begging? I hear a lot of thumping and begging. No, I know that the kids' room is on the other side of mine because they told me that. Did you did you drill a hole so you could communicate with them? <laughs> hey kids! <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're in their room playing and just. <laughs> hey! <laughs> no, at first Shh, they look behind. They just see your eye look through at first, like blink a little. But I. 
with no ill intentions. I just want to just hey. be a kid again, like, hey, don't tell your parents. <laughs> Guys, come over here. So be our little secret. Guys, be our little secret. <laughs> and I make them like put like a poster over it. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> like, they, they go to bed at like 7 p.m. Just like, psst. Guys, wake up. <laughs> You guys play some video games. You guys want to play a game? <laughs> okay, I spy something red. And would I get arrested for that if it's completely in cons in cons in, in No. N There's no proof that you had any contact. There was just a hole in the wall that they decided maybe they made the hole and were embarrassed and covered it up with their poster because they didn't want their parents getting mad at them for putting a hole in the wall. Well, I'm pretty sure investigators would be able to look at a hole and figure out which way it was drilled from. Nope. Because you know, maybe they broke into your place, mm. drilled a hole in your wall, realized, oh shit, it goes into our wall too. No, I'll pen it on my landlord. Say, okay, I didn't even know that was there. It's like yeah. literally, like my bed is right here. Put it's a right big here. nail in it and hang a picture. Is it at a height, hopefully, to where so it's not like ankle level where there's a picture being hung? I'll hang a picture of him and his wife there, and I'll be like, oh, that was there when I moved. <laughs> I just in. imagine like the hole on the floor, so like you actually are like on your hands and knees. <laughs> do, do, do. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you know what it is? Why the camera's doing that? Why? Oh, it's moving slightly. It's slowly moving because hmm. Mr. Stoller didn't balance it. See, it's it's like at an angle. See, should we reprimand him right here, right now? No, because he's he'll have some some. I don't know. I yeah, made it. Yeah. It's straight. He'll we'll make up some fucking excuse. I'm sure. Yeah. But I think it is slowly moving. Wait, I'm looking at the monitor to see if that no, little like bit the, of blue goes. It is. See, watch. The blue's about, about to, to disappear. A, yep. Hold up. Wait for it. It's like watching the sunset. Yeah. There, you're yep, careful. There you, might, you might see a green flash. Pirates of the Caribbean reference. Well, that happens in real life. Not to the extent of what happens in Pirates of the Caribbean, though. I don't remember. What, what happens? Is it like... They like flip around and go underwater and go to a different dimension or some shit. Oh yeah, that doesn't happen. There is a green flash though. It goes. It it goes. And then I've you're like, was that? I guess that was green. Yeah, yeah, that was green. I, I saw it. No, I've seen it. See. No, I've I've never seen the green flash. I've only now we're just gonna watch it move slightly. Yeah, I I overcorrected. So this time, <clears throat> this time it will. Now know. it's just distract. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's a fun ride for people to, like, notice as it cuts back to me. Like, oh, shit, it's at a different location now, slightly. Well, the here. wide camera's still... Wait, the wide camera... Were you leaning out of the wide camera? No, I'm leaning over now, so it's extra 180 rule okay. when Luke cuts back and forth, you know? But in the wide, you are being cut off a bit. Well, now that I'm lean leaning back, back like this. But, like, even if I lean back in my chair, I'm still not cut off, huh? I'm not cut off. No, if you lean back the way you were, like I'm doing right now, in that corner. See? A little bit of your noggin. Well, Leighton positioned the chairs. And the cameras. And he's the one that used the tape. Yep. Which real MacGyver move on his part? Technically, it was my idea. Oh, okay. So, never mind. I just said, hey, what if we pull it back with something... Like, what if we what if we mount a hook there and then mount one in the wall to pull it back with a piece of chain? We didn't have a drill today, so, so maybe some... I think Jim was the one that suggested the tape. So he got the gaffer's tape, and then... Did you hear Layton's recent merch idea? The Invisible Ink t-shirt? He no. just wants to sell blank t-shirts and just say, there's an invisible design on it. Mm. I don't... I'm not a big fan of the idea myself. It's cheap. It is cheap. For us. And it's if it's a, like an inside joke, you'll be like, oh, you don't see the design? I do. But they'd have to go up to people because otherwise they're just going to be blank shirts. So they'd have to go up to people and, hey, you see this? What? The design on my shirt. It would force people to be more inter interacting with the people around them instead of on their phones, I guess. Well, they didn't, they'd need a black light to see it. Okay. Because that's how Invisible Ink shows. But, but I, I was just saying like... I think he doesn't even want to put... I think he just wants to do it as a bit. Like, there is no at invisible ink at all. I think he just thinks that people will purchase it for the bit or something. Really? It's a horrendous idea. He said we could sell them at, like, he wants to dress up like Kramer and do a recreation of, like, the whole Laugh Factory thing where he's playing Kramer. That doesn't even make sense. Why, how does that even make sense? 
How's that he, funny? He, th- he thinks that like he would pull a lot, of, like a large crowd, and then America also help sales with um, the shirt. America's dad going on stage and calling a group of minorities racial slurs is not something to joke it about. Wasn't Bill Cosby that said it? Kramer's America's dad too. Uh, Bill Cosby's America's uh, sweetheart, dad, father figure. Then what's Kramer? The wild card. He's the Charlie, right? Yeah. The whole episode about the wild. What Charlie? Who's Charlie? He's definitely uh, the wild card. Yep. He comes in and goes, "Oh, Jerry." But I don't think it's funny to even joke about the Laugh Factory thing. And I think that people that make jokes about it or use it in a comedic manner, you're doing it in so in poor taste. Do you think we're the first book to put a joke in about that actual incident? Do you think we're the first? I don't think we're the first book. To- Ripley's Believe It or Not. We're the <laughs> Most of, most offensive stand-up comedy. I don't think that we're the first to to broach it comedically. In a I, book. In a book. In a book. Maybe it's it might be mentioned in another book, but I do think that we are the first to use it as a key plot point. Has he been a character? Has Michael Richards been a character in a book that is not nonfiction? I don't so, think so. Boom. Do you think that boom. do you think it has or ever will get back to him that he's a character in a book? I would hope so. He the 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 artist did a good job of making him look like Michael Block, Richards. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I so. think that. Oh, I thought you were talking about the cover. Oh no, I mean the cover, but like there are other illustrations. A lot of people thought that was Joe Biden on the cover. It's not. It's it's Michael, Michael Richards. Richards. Spoilers. But I, I I just hope to God that somehow, some way, it gets back to him that he is a. It's a character in our book. Plays a CIA agent. He might think it's funny. He might send us a letter. He might send something to our P.O. box. Think about it. Michael if, Richards sends us like a signed... Seinfeld script. A, original. A signed sweater that he wore on a si- on Seinfeld as Kramer. Or maybe he's... Uh, he gives us a... His he, backstage pass for the Laugh Factory from November 14th, 2006. That would be sick. I think that's the date. I don't think they have like backstage passes. I think it's just like, isn't it like probably what, just a ticket or something? Isn't it like a surprise? Whoever shows up, sometimes it's someone big will just show up. Yeah, that's how I saw Dane Cook. Fantastic, by the way. Well, I can't it, say Jeff that Dunham still does stand up, right? Did he ever do stand up? Can you call it that? I would. It's art. Call it a disgrace. What? I saw him live. I saw him stand up with, well, sit down or stand up, whatever he did with those yeah, puppets. Yeah, he did. Damn it, I missed a good chance to say no. He does sit down. Hey. Fuck. Next time we bring Jeff Dunham on, you can probably, if you lock that one away, be perfect for like a few podcasts down the way. Because well, we're going to mention Jeff Dunham again. We we cycle through the same 10 to 20 topics. And then forget loop. about it. And then talk yeah. about it again. So Jeff Dunham, huh? Yeah. Sick, sick live performance, as well as George Lopez. It was not a joint show, but those hey, are the only. For well, me, it Penn and Teller are comedians. Show. Are they? They're atheists. <laughs> yeah, and they laugh. The only comedian in my well, heart. they make me laugh. Sorry, they don't laugh. Well, they well, mm, I'd like a comedian that goes out and just laughs. Have, <laughs> have you ever seen Penn or Teller laugh? No, I haven't. I bet you our fans can't even find a clip, and if you do. If you do find proof of Penn or Teller laughing, send it on over to uh, to Justin. At him and send him the clip don't with no him. context. Don't tell him why. No. There's always that one little fucker that ruins it, though. Everyone yeah. else is playing Just along with loser. the joke. The kid in class who no one wants to talk to. Yep. <laughs> yeah. One kid that ruins the joke, and it's just, okay, dude. If, I'm, your attention. if I'm remembering, you said there was a pop quiz this week, and it's Friday, and we haven't had the quiz yet. You know what I hate about the kids that did that? They already have, like, a 99. Oh. They don't need well, it. They, well, they want it, so because maybe they have, like, a 99.4, and they want that to be, like, a fucking 99.8 or something. Yeah, it's great that you study for the pop quiz. For the decimal point, it matters. For us, it's a letter, you know. Yeah. Well, to colleges, it's also the number. Well, they don't know how you do really your the last half of your senior year, so a lot of people... Yo, just... I slacked, dude. Oh, yeah. I slacked. That's senioritis, baby. Dude, I got senioritis bad. I never skipped school, though. I was too scared to skip school. Skipping school, like playing hooky, was was actually seemed like, like a cardinal sin to me. Like, it seemed like something that was... Uh, 
it seemed like it was so bad that like morally I couldn't do it. I didn't skip school, so to speak, but I was on the broadcast journalism program there uh, called the Silver Screen Report. And uh, we would be able, if we had a car, to go off campus for stories. And sometimes you just come up with a reason, like, I'm going to do a story on gas prices and have to go get footage from the gas station down the road. But you'd really just go to Sonic or just drive around. So, like, I did that. As you drive past the gas station. <laughs> yep. Going, those are some really good shots. You drove by for that? Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wanted to make sure I got a mo an action shot. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Didn't want So there was static. a lot of that. Like, even going to, like... Chick-fil-A in the middle of the day, then driving out to, like, the Lake Murray uh, dam and just, like, parking and sitting and eating. I did this with my crush at the time. Ooh, dude. Uh, yeah. yeah. You know, did we, you were kiss both, her? we were both on the Silver Screen Report. We were both uh, producers. Did you kiss Crazy. her? Crazy. Huh? Did you kiss her? Eventually. <sighs> so it worked out. Oh, yeah. Well, we broke up uh, in college. Over the pregnancy? Oh, I Wrong. Oh, wrong. that was my ex-wife. Oh. This is my ex-girlfriend. Okay. Um, well, it makes more sense to ex-wife's a little more recent, so I don't really. Well, know. it makes more sense to end a like a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship over a pregnancy than a marriage. <laughs> I ain't having no fucking kid, dude. Are you kidding me? I don't want that responsibility. I, I I'm not kidding you. Okay, that's good. See, that one was a zinger. That was good. No, I, I... And this is a penis. Luke, <laughs> do, do, do show a picture of a penis, Luke. Patreon gets my... that one uncensored. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, Patreon... Not does... your penis, Luke. Or <laughs> maybe. No one, no one will know. Find... Except for you, Luke. <laughs> Luke, you have to find a picture of not, like, some obvious porn star with abs. You have to find, like, a selfie someone took or like a Luke, sex find a picture that on. looks like it could be your penis but it's not unless you want it to be no I feel like if we have one of our like uh, collaborators expose themselves to our audience that wouldn't go over well but who's to say it's his I don't think it is but I also don't know because yeah, Luke, he's at, Luke is the only one that will know he might it might be quicker for him just to snap a quick pick and be like, "Yeah, I found that on the internet." Huh? Just like just like stretching his boxes, just be like just get a little like bush, <sighs> like pick at it, like got you got to slap it around just to get a little, little bit, like, pinch the head and like, <laughs> you know, yeah, you know, pinch the head until you feel a pop. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I'm not supposed to do that. I've been doing it every day since I was a kid. No, but uh. You know, like PE, high school, oh, locker yeah. room, dude. Oh wow! Before my dick was, before anyone would see me naked, I'd before, really before your dick became ginormous. Well, before it was, ever, anyone saw it, I'd always be like, just to get it like <laughs> really? semi chubbed, not even semi chubbed, but just bigger than one hundred percent flaccid. You know, I'd, what I'm talking I'd, about? I'd usually just face into the corner because I'm gonna be proud of yourself, Ryan. Well, it was usually I was at I. I didn't really change at PE. I would just keep the clothes on for the rest of the day because of gym shorts and a t-shirt. I did that sometimes. But and no one else did that. So I then I felt weird. Well, maybe, well, if no one else did that, then you were kind of your own thing. Like, oh, there's Matt. Okay, he's wearing the gym shorts. I remember it was like, you got, because you got like school brand gym shorts essentially. Not or us. you could. I think you had the option, but like you had, you had to write your name on them. There was like a space. To oh write yeah, your name. the the yeah. We just had to bring our own from home. Oh, and if you oh, and like if I came in flip flops, and I was like, fuck, I'd get in trouble. If you came in I flip flops, did, yeah, yeah, you'd get in trouble. Uh, but more so if I uh, was not wearing. Oh yeah, shoes. dude, I you got in big trouble if you weren't. You'd have wearing... to sit out and you'd lose some points in PE. My, how do you not get a hundred in PE? Well, I think the PE is. Dumb to be a required grade because you're ba not everyone is built the same. Not everyone is fit. So requiring someone that's unfit to do the same test, like physical test, as someone that is on like the football team, and then judging them on the same like curve. I don't, well, I don't think they uh, grade like that with PE. I feel like that's it, what mine it is like participation. No, mine. Mine. How has does a stronger kid have any right? To get a better grade than a kid who doesn't have the same muscle mass. So are you telling me like, like some dude bro, uh, like uh, football player mm -hmm. is just going to just 
because have a better grade than yes. let's say some fucking nerdy dude or chick. Is that it? We I that doesn't sound right. No, I remember one of the tests because I always my friend and I are always like this is bullshit. One of the tests, so one of them was running the mile in under. Oh, I forgot there were fucking things like that. And if and if you, you had to see how how long it would take you, and if it if it took you, there was a too long uh, section. Yeah, and I felt bad, dude, because there were like I, I, I there were like pretty overweight kids in my class that really struggled with it, and they got a lower grade. And I'm like, I'm sure that does great for their self esteem. And I remember one of the tests was gives them initiative. Yeah, to not exactly. Be fucking fat. Exactly. Thank you. Uh, one of those. One of the one of the tests was uh. Push ups and sit ups back to back. You had to do 20 sit ups and I think 10 to 15 push ups. When or something. I was a kid, I could do like infinite sit ups because, like, you're not like you're so light. Like in middle school, you're just like, Yep, okay, yep, I'm still going. I can I can do a decent amount of sit ups because I am really light, but it's harder it's because it's bad for my back now. Yeah, it's a crunch. It, yeah, it hurts, but. What hurts me the most about sit-ups is my ass is so sharp, so my 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 tailbone and my ass bones like poke into the ground, even with like a pad. What can you do the most of, like workout wise, like pull-ups, push-ups, sit-ups? Not pull-ups. I think I could do the most, definitely most like sit-ups, but someone has to be holding my feet, or they have to be like weighed down. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. That that's when it's easy. Otherwise, I. Off balance. My greatest feat was during training. I just wanted to see how many push-ups I could do. What's your max at once? Well, I just wanted to hit a hundred, and I did. At once? Mm-hmm. God damn. But I was also like, you know, I juiced up major. This was I, before I was Creator Clash. This was for Creator Clash. I juiced up. You did a hundred push-ups mm-hmm. in one in one go. One, two, three. Jesus Christ! That means I remember you could one still time do- I got to like sixty or seventy. I was like, fuck, and then I stopped, and then I tried again, like in a week or two. And I was like, I just committed to it. Bet that was brutal. But it, but like, it's not. It is like a feat, right? But I feel like if you're training multiple times a day, specifically for building muscle mass, it's not like a surprise. You know? Yeah, I think like it's not like I was just like, you know what I did today, and I, like I have no exercise. I did no exercise. I was eating like shit, and I was like, just did two hundred push-ups. Yep. In one go, baby. Finished my spaghetti dinner and did a hundred push-ups. I could. I don't know how many push-ups I could even do right now. Probably I was thinking not the many. same thing about myself because before Creator Clash, I could do thirty, and that was that was about it. I I was comfortable in that, like I could do fifty plus at Re- one point. Remember, we would we would always be like. Oh, dude, fuck. Like, what? It's like, we got to do 25. Justin, Justin I wipe saw it. next time, asshole. He mooned us. I know. And he, it's some, he smeared some shit on the glass door. <sighs> little twat, dude. What a fucking little twat. Are you going to clean up the shit? Wipe. Get the Windex. You need Windex for that. Okay. He's no, ready. he's smearing. He's just smearing it. He's just it. smearing he's it just on the floor. It. He's just taking it from the... Off the glass. It's on the glass. You mooned the glass. Look at it from that angle. See? It's the big brown streak wipe mark. It off, please. Don't wipe oh, that. Wiped it on himself. Wiped it on his knee. Well, better that than the door. Okay, okay, yeah, you got some of it. No, no yeah, yeah. just. He, did you actually lick that? He thinks it's funny. He thinks that we think that's funny for What do you mean? Reason. I don't know. Did you. L- no. Okay. I did not lick the glass. Or the poop. I was simply mining. <laughs> okay. The poop is real. But the glass is Okay. All right. Well, thank. It, that's good. Yes. It's he really just smudged it around a little bit, like oil pastel, you know, on a piece of on a piece of smooth paper. Yeah, that's Layton can clean that up. <laughs> Guess what, audience? Guess what time it is? Everyone's favorite. The end. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Matt and Ryan, that was not funny, but I love Super Mega. 